Darren and Anita. A music evolution. Now, Darren and Anita with your Grand Strand Artist Spotlight. Darren and Anita back from a commercial break. We hear, and Anita, you know, we've talked about this for about a month now. I keep bringing up, we got to get Felicia Janae on the phone. We got to get her on the phone. And guess what? I think I brought it up. You didn't. You, I did. It is Anita. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'll give you credit for it this time. <laughs> Since I, we, we talked off the air about how the ladies jump on me when we get two of you on the show here now. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, folks. You can hear her laughing in the background. Felicia Janae, how are you? <laughs> I'm well. How are you? How are you, Anita? I'm doing great. I'm doing good as well. It is great to have you back on the air with us after, it's hard to believe, four years. I know. That's been a long time. Don't let it Don't let it take you this long again. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's bad. And, and Anita is the one who had to throw me under the bus on that because I'm sort of slow about uh, interviews. With, uh, who are we going to talk to this week? That kind of thing. Thank you. And thank you so much, Anita. But, you know, we've been busy. I've been seeing what you guys have been doing out there, too. You've been running all over, you know, doing your thing. And Felisa has been out there doing her thing. So I do understand Actually, when you're really busy and doing great things, time flies by so fast, and, and there's so many artists out there, so it's kind of hard to keep up and catch up with all of us, you know, even when you want to. So I do understand, but don't let it take four years again. <laughs> we will. I promise. I will not do it. I'm making a note. I got a note right now. I'm putting this in my phone. Two more months. We're going to find out what's going on. <laughs> How you guys doing? I miss you. We miss you, too, but let's catch up real fast. The last time right. we talked, it was You Won't Miss your water which is such a hot song for you and there was a movie part that you had what all's happened to that and then i want to get into this tour bus tour and r kelly but tell us what's, oh, been, what's wow. been going on wow let's see the movie i get the governor's daughter you know i think i told you i played like i had like a little small cameo role in it but it was great because it opened doors for um you know so many other things uh, including the r kelly thing that we're going to talk about later right. <laughs> <laughs> but I played a reporter, to uh, my knowledge, he did pretty good. It was an independent movie. Right. The young man that released it, his name was um, Lawyer Henderson out of Atlanta, Georgia. Community did really, really well, too, in Columbus, Mississippi, you know, where I'm from, where I live. Right. But, and like you said, it opened doors for so many other things. Since I last talked to you, I've been to Italy and... <laughs> wow. The world, so <laughs> we got a lot of catching up to do. I, I tell you, well, what about Italy? What What's up with that? I went to Italy three years ago in um, 2013. Graziano Giuliani, he comes to the States every right. year. and He looks for new talent to bring back to Italy to wow. do the um, the oldest Reading Festival that they have over there every year. And I'm going back this year in July with, with Bobby Rush again. When I went two years, three years ago, I went with Lattimore, right. Bobby Rush, and um, Pastor Mitty Collier. But this year, I'm going back, which is why I don't think Lattimore is going back this year. He said that they love they love my stage presence. They love my voice. So they love everything about Felicia Janae. So <laughs> he reached out to me again. And when I was in St. Louis, right before we came to North and South Carolina a few weeks back with the Blues All Right Tour, he um, came to St. Louis to see my show with my band, wow. who is the formal Mel Waiters band. Right. They play for me now. So oh, really? really so you picked up Mel yeah, Waiters Funk band. Factory. Wow. Yes. Yeah. I have Mel Waiters band, the Funk Factory. Um, it was a blessing in disguise. We got so much to talk about Darren and Anita. <laughs> but yeah, yes, we do. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm currently working with Mel's band. Um, they're my babies now. Cool deal. That, really that's awesome. M- miss Mel terribly though in the music world. It, uh, yes, I do. It was, yes, it was a bad thing. yes, we do. Um, I met Mel a few years back. We were in Daytona Beach, and I had a show down there together at uh, Bethune Cookman College, and he stopped my sound check because he was so surprised at what he saw my brother and I doing at Soundcheck. Scared me to death, but he gave us a lot of positive, encouraging words, a lot of, you know, positive feedback. And, you know, he just told us to keep God first and don't let anyone break us up and, you know, keep moving forward. So I'll always remember that and have the picture that we took that day. So I'll always have those memories. You know, his legacy lives on. You know, all the music that's going on, their legacy lives on because I do a lot of cover tunes and I do a lot of, you know, each one of them music when I can. Right, exactly. So I'm I'm super excited to be, you know, a blues artist and I'm able to 
somewhat keep the blues alive. Yeah, carry the um, legacy on of those folks. Right. So that's right. Somebody got to do it there. You know, that, somebody got to do it. Right. Well, that's right. Well, you see. Anita, you feel me? Somebody got to do it. I do. I feel you, girl. Somebody got to do it. I think it's the, here, here you go. This is from my stand. I think it's the moves that Felisa Janae has on stage. I think that might be what it is. <laughs> that's what they say. Uh, that's what they say. <laughs> that's that. what they say. I've been working on it. I've been trying to not wiggle so much on stage. And just <laughs> yeah, but you got the wiggle. That's, you got the wiggle. It's like the Nene, man. You got the Felisa wiggle jiggle kind of thing going on. Yeah. I know, saying. but you know what? I'm, I think I'm like the only one out there in the blues market that's doing all this wiggling and tickling, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell you what. Well, tell us about the, the the tour of the tour bus. I saw this on Facebook. Now, when when did this happen? Yeah. And what's um, all with that? Well, the story of that is R. Kelly was doing like a mini tour, as you probably know and been seeing him um, following me on social media. He's getting ready to uh, crack his tour date April 21st. Right. And I am on some of those tour dates. I will be opening, you know, for some of those tour dates. Exactly which ones right now, I don't know. But I will be. I'm part of the R. Kelly family. Yeah, the entourage of R. Kelly. With, yeah, yeah, which is a beautiful thing. It is. <laughs> and, that's, um, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a blessing. It's, it was up in the disguise. I didn't see it coming. Anita, and I didn't run from it either. <laughs> I ran to it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you have to do this time. <laughs> but I was, uh, that was that was his tour bus, and we were on the tour bus. And um, my manager, KG, told me to. You know, let the people know what you're doing and where you at and, and, you know, all this good stuff. And I was like, nah, I don't want to do it. And he was like, no, do it. You know, and put it out on social media because your fans haven't really seen you've been doing anything in a while. And now that you're going in another, in another direction, do it. So I did the little mini video and I threw it out there. And I was so surprised how my fans still love me and following me. It was it was a huge response behind that. And I'm glad I did it because they got a chance to see, you know, how I sleep, how I live, you know. Exactly. You know, when I'm on the road and and it's hard, but it's a lot of fun. I, I think I even showed my microwave and, and that was actually <laughs> my tour bus, the bus that I ride on. So <laughs> that wasn't R. Kelly's bus. R. Kelly had something totally different. Yeah, but, he, yeah, that, he, that, he got a shelf on his bus. <laughs> yes, <laughs> not, yeah, not, yeah not. everything. No, not your so, Well, I tell you, Felisa, yeah. God you were talking about God God has been good to you because we talked about oh that my God. when we Are talked you less. Serious. It's beyond good. I mean, God has been beyond good to me. I'm going to tell you, Darren, if he doesn't do anything else for me, he's done enough. Yeah, there you go. I don't want him to stop blessing me. You know, I'm, right. I'm open and ready to receive more and more and more. And it's coming. Doors are open every, everywhere. I'm very excited to be in the position where I am now because I was when I went back last night after you and I uh, inboxed each other, and I was like, why is it in four years? So what I did, I went back and I looked at a lot of stuff four years ago and where I was and what I was doing. And I never would have thought that I would be in this position now where I am now and doing what I'm doing now. I've always wanted it and, you know, and, and prayed for it. But, you know, everything happens in timing. Thank and you. you don't get it when you want it. You get it when it's time for you to have it. Right. That's, That's how the right. Holy Spirit works. That's so, right. you know, and I'm happy that I was patient and that, you know, I let go and let God. Because now I'm old enough and mature enough and I understand to accept you know anything. patience and the music business more because people think because when they see you on stage that's it right you no know, it's a whole lot of business black and white that goes on behind the scene that people don't see but when i'm out on stage for those few minutes we make it look good but that's yeah. just the fun part the hard part is when you're doing paperwork when you're in the studio Studios. when you're looking for managers when you're looking for record labels when you're looking for you know all the things that it takes to make Lisa janae that's that's the hard work and that's the part that no one has patience for. So um, since we talked last, I have grown up a whole lot. I've grown up a lot. Uh, oh my god! Yes, because well, we have a lot to talk about. And we got to put. We're going to have to talk again because we got to put this in a ten-minute nutshell to get you out of here. Well, but Felicia, let's get to this. The new song, man, that's doing awesome. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> I walked in the studio in Chicago, and Kendall Nesbitt, who's also um, R. Kelly's uh, producer and arranger, that was the very first song he gave me, and I was like, Kendall, I cannot sing this song, because, you know, I'm Southern Soul. Right. And I said, I cannot sing this, and he said, yes, you can. So we got in the booth, and he gave me the arrangements, and we did it, and I surprised myself, and apparently I surprised, you know, everybody in my group, and we did it, and once we released it to radio, it took off, and we shot a video for it. Yes. The song is doing everything that we wanted to do, and I'm very, very, very happy. You know, like I said, I'm in a position now. Um, I have matured and grown up in the business, so 
I'm working with different producers, and I'm attached to Cannon Switch and um, KG, Kendall Nesbitt, R. Kelly, Stan, so forth and so on. My engineer is superb. My producer is superb. My whole management team is superb. And they believe in me a lot. So I'm going in a different direction, kind of like with my music. I'm still doing blues, but I'm, the only thing that we're doing now, I wanted to modernize it. Because, Anita, you know, I just said that somebody has to keep the blues alive of male waiters, uh, mm-hmm. B.B. King, right. Bobby Blue Bland, you know, so forth and so on. So what I'm doing back in their time, they modernized it. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just modernizing it for, you know, exactly. 2016. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I tell you, you know, back when I first got to know your music, you and your music, back then I was listening to stuff that you had out online and you have a very contemporary sound, you know, adult contemporary kind of thing anyway. And I think, you that's, know, the I Love You song that, fits right there, man. That's that, that's that Michael Jackson sound going on. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know I love Michael Jackson. <laughs> I, I, oh, yeah, we all do. But thank you. Listen thank you so much. Um, my sound is different, and that's because I, you know, like so many others, I grew up gospel. But when you when you're into music, you you find that person that you like, which was right. Michael Jackson, Aretha Franklin, um, Whitney Houston, uh, so forth and so on. Back in the days when they were really really singing, right? Not right. saying that the artists nowadays aren't, but I'm I came up with that real soul music that exactly. Tina Turner and and Gladys Knight, you know, era of music. So, and I love that music because it was real music. Yes. The instruments were real. The lyrics were real. Everything. Real. That's right. So that was, that's, that's, so that's, where, that's, that's where my sound comes and, from. And, you know, we talk to you and you say that, and other artists that we have talked to in the last couple months say the same thing. We hear that over mm-hmm. and over. Well, that's where it is. People really don't want to think about love anymore. Everybody wants to think about the booty shake and stuff. But that's, yeah. You know, that's that has played out. It's gonna come back around because you know music goes around a cycle. But right now, I just wanna focus on love because the world needs love. This world that I live in is so full of yeah. everything but love. Drama. Like, Drama. You know? <laughs> and yes, we need love. I remember back in the day when somebody was going through something, if someone just cooked a dinner and just invited them and just showed love. People don't right. want to show love anymore. People don't want to say I love you anymore. I mean it. You sound you know, like Anita, um, man. That's Anita's whole thing. We, she talks about love. We, every well, show, I, we loving Anita, one another. See, Anita, and Anita, we're here. I'm in Mississippi, and you're there, but we're here, girl. That's right. That's right. I'm currently in the studio working on my album. I have two more songs to record, and I'm finished with it. And mm. you can find it on all the internet stores and my website, FeliceJ.com. And you can find it on um, the video on YouTube. I love you guys. You guys broke my record in your area. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you. Were amazing to Felisa Janae. Let's go ahead and give them the song right now. Nita, are you ready for this? We've been working this song for about a month and a half now. We finally Good got evening, her, and, and here it is. <laughs> I love you. We just want to take you back. Is that all right? <laughs> yeah. Good old school music, baby. We gotta bring the love back. Let me tell you the man that I love. Go on, tell him how you feel. Woo. You pick me up when I'm down. Darren and Anita. A music evolution.